Uh, KKR uh, primarily didn't have uh, enough guys scoring runs for them. Uh, Robbie Uttapa in bad and not in great form. Uh, Chris Lynn getting some runs. Shubman Gill getting some runs finally in the at the end of the tournament. I thought he should have batted uh, right at the top. Uh, opened the innings from the first game, which didn't happen. They went with uh, Sunil Narayan, and if I'm not mistaken, they even tried uh, Nitish Rana to start with in a few games, uh, and Shubman Gill batting at number seven. Also, Dinesh Karthik's form and also the form of some of the uh, the bowlers. On the whole, I think they, they just didn't turn up. There was only just one man who turned up consistently every game, and that was Andrew Russell. But apart from that, uh, I just I just feel that uh, some of the senior guys should have should have actually done better than what they did. Uh, Robbie Uthappa, someone like a Dinesh Karthik. To me, that sums up the story that it's about everyone actually contributing. You can't win a tournament or reach the playoffs of a tournament with just one person actually doing all the bulk of the work. Tough season for Robbie Uthappa, no doubt. And he will go back and think that, uh, what have I done? What could I have done? What, how much more uh, uh, better could I have played the IPL? Uh, he's, if, you, if you remember that, uh, I, I think about maybe a couple of years back, he was the highest one kidder in the IPL for that year. Uh, had the orange cap, but uh, he's a pale shadow of that person. He, he wasn't looking good again today. He wasn't striking the ball. He wasn't even putting bat to ball. At a time, there was a match between the bowler and the keeper. Robbie Utepa was just missing balls continuously. And he, he was someone who actually put the pressure on the other batters. We even saw him in a couple of other games that he played very slowly. Got about, if I'm not mistaken, in the game, uh, 9 of 20 which actually uh, kind of held them back from winning that game. If they had won that game, imagine they would not have been in this position and probably, probably quali they would have qualified to the playoffs. It's going to be a good game at Chepak on the 7th. Uh, and it's also important that uh, both sides will just have one day before this, they play the game on the 7th. They'll have to travel tomorrow, uh, straight up get into uh, Chennai, get set for the match. So it'll be important that whichever side is a little fresher, might just have the edge. Uh, CSK normally plays well at Chepok, has won 6 out of 7 this year, uh, but they've lost one which was against Mumbai. And uh, if you also go back and see the stats uh, versus Mumbai at Chepok, uh, CSK has not done very well. CSK has struggled with the, uh, against Mumbai at Chepok. Uh, get a feeling that uh, CSK will fancy uh, winning at Chepok, but mind you, Mumbai uh, are a formidable side. <laughs>